WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now flat. NASDAQ is that down 147. You get the S&Ps off uh, 30. And uh, last uh, 10 minutes, folks, uh, you just had the uh, S&P give up uh, 40 uh, points as that king dollar, man. The king dollar. As soon as the dollar turned, man, the dollar was at 112, 410. And right now, guess what? It's an up, up uh, 800 uh, ticks from that. And that's what turned this market in two seconds flat. So you get the Dow Industrials down 14 right now. NASDAQ's off 154. S&P's off 33. You get gold down $4, trading 1671. Silver down 56 cents. $19.05 an ounce. Light sweet crude off $253, $88.61. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up for ticks trading $111.05. The 30 year up 17 at $122, $124.22. And then King Dollar. King Dollar right now turned positive. It's up 100 ticks, $113.24. The euro is at 97. The yen is out here at a price point of, uh, where are you, man? 145. And the British pound is at 110 to 1 U.S. dollar. We get over and take a look at the SPY. Uh, the SPY is actually going to have light volume, man. So, you know, we had light volume yesterday. It was the holiday, no doubt about that. But the bottom line, this is coming in with light volume. So uh, the real kicker is going to be, can you get a re rejection of lower price? And that would be right now 357.04. So we're broken it. Thank God you broke it. Okay, that's the bottom line. If you want a higher price, you got to break it, man. So you break it. Now the real question is, are you going to close over it, which is the 357.04? We hit 355.810. Uh, Volume is contracting in a monster way here. But we'll see how that baby shakes out. Uh, NDX is still a different uh, ball game. And in both cases, I still want it over that first June low. That, that's your benchmark there. That's the, that's the benchmark. June 17th is your benchmark. You get into uh, Qs, same setup, man. The, the Qs, uh, this is light volume, man. Yesterday we did 60 million, we're doing 49. We'll do 70 or something, but 70 is light volume. You're coming into 81. And on the Qs, you know, you want to see that uh, over 269.28. We got to 267.63 today, and you can see it's quite clear, man. I mean, it's actually pretty amazing. Uh, the correlation is so direct, it's unbelievable. So here's an intraday chart of the dollar. And you can see, bottom line, the dollar was fine, hit a low at uh, 1230, and from 1230 on, this thing is going topside. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>